Hi, this week we're going to start working on a foil mandala. Here's one I made last year. A foil mandala is a mandala that's been pressed into metal foil. And we've worked not just the front side, but the back side as well. So this side I added color to. We're not going to be able to add color this year. We'll use our black Sharpie to fill in. But we will be able to get some really nice designs into the metal foil. What we really need to worry about today is, how are we going to get our design started? So if you are at school, I'm giving you a white square paper. This is going to be the same size as your metal foil. This is for planning and drawing out our template for our mandala, because this will actually get transferred onto the metal foil. First thing you're going to want to do is draw a circle. If you're not very good at drawing circles, find something nice and big that will fill up most of the space with a circle. Now, I'm pretty good at drawing circles, so I'm actually going to just draw a circle. It helps me to just find the four um, spaces along the side that are about the same distance. So one, two, three, four. Because then I just have to get my pencil to hit each of these with a curve. And I'll, get, I'll end up, no matter how badly my circle is drawn, it'll be pretty good. So that circle is a little wonky, but it fit the space pretty well. It doesn't look terrible. So if you don't like it, start over. So now I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to try a little harder to get it to be more circular. One trick I find is use your whole arm when you make a circle instead of just your hand. And draw a couple times like that. Then you can go back and harden it. There. Now I'm ready. Now, now I'm ready to start my design. First thing I want to do is cross through my paper, and you can do that. Actually, fold your paper in half. Ooh, I did a good job that with that one. I got lucky. And fold it in half the other way. And if you want to, fold it from corner to corner. and then fold it from corner to corner the opposite way. And you will have your circle divided up into eight equal pieces, or fairly equal. All right, now I'll trace over those. There, now I'm ready to add designs. I can erase some of this. A mandala is a radial design. That means it radiates out from the center in a circular direction. So I'm going to take some cues from my other one and I start by curving in on each space the same way. So it's going up and down. And I'll try to keep it about the same best I can. If I mess up, I can erase. All right, now, let's see. I think I'm going to curve, make some curves here too. So it's like it's going to end up looking like a big flower. Flowers are radial in their setup. Um, a lot of things in nature have radial designs. If you slice a piece of a fruit or a vegetable, it usually, especially if you cut it in the right way, it's going to have a radial design. All right, that's a good start. Now I'm going to start adding a few more things. Now you could, and I'm going to, Erase the circle if you don't really want to keep that 
line there. And just for the sake of being an art teacher, <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that just to make it different. All right, now I have this kind of dipping scalloped edge. It's kind of cool. And I'll put a certain, well, let me think. I got to think. What could I do that would look kind of cool there? Uh, let's see. I'm going to find the center, and I'm going to curve up and back. Ooh, I don't know if I can keep doing this one. I'm going to go up and back. Hmm, it's going to be tricky. Maybe not. Just kind of loosen up a little bit and just let it go. Well, see, I'm, that one should curve the other way. Up and back, up and back, up and back. They look like rhino horns. All right, see, it changed a little bit. By the time I got back to here, there was a big gap in there. So, how can I fix that? Well, I can make this one have two. And then with the ones that weren't big enough, I can start adding on. So I did some problem solving there to try to make these match a little better. Now I have that. That actually looks pretty cool to me. And now I still have these corners. And I need to figure out what I could do with those corners. So I'm going to make a U shape. And kind of a flower, like a tulip design. In each one of those. And that will finish it off and now I'm ready to transfer it to the metal foil which I will show you how to do next week. But if you've had me for art before we've done this with a couple different assignments so using the metal shouldn't be new to you. Just the assignment and we've done mandalas before too. But that's this, this is a good spot to stop. And next week we're going to take this and transfer it into the metal foil. So take your time. If you, if, you don't like how, if you don't like how it's going, flip it over. Start over on the back. If you really don't like how that's going, get some more paper. Just take this paper and trace it onto some other paper that you have at home or... Um, if you're here at school, I can give you more paper to use. All right, that's it. I'll see you next week for transferring the foil to the foil.